Hello, my fellow dirt road travelers. Fawn here, coming to you from the dirt road ranch. Well, just recently, Nate and I were able to go with Alder off road, and we were able to go up to Big Bear to do John Bull. And let me tell you, John Bull is freaking amazing. It is a difficult trail, and that is 100% for sure. It is a short trail, but once you start hitting those obstacles, it doesn't stop. There are very few breaks on this trail where it's smooth sailing. You are rock climbing. You are going over boulders. You are going over steep inclines and downgrades. It is a blast. It is truly a blast and it will definitely challenge you. So let me share some footage of John Bull with you guys. Here we go. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let me figure out All right guys, we made it up to Little John Bull. It is a steep incline, some rocks. It looks pretty awesome, actually. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling. Like a walk in the park, Grandpa Steve. Jumping from cliffs so high, trusting our wings to fly. Sometimes we're crashing down, but we get up and start from the ground. Okay guys, I have a minute. I'm gonna tell you what you need for this trail. You're gonna need a four by four capable vehicle. I know, I know, I shouldn't have to say this, but sometimes it's not that obvious to some people. You're gonna need ground clearance. This is a very steep, very rocky, very big boulders you're gonna be climbing over. So ground clearance is a must. And three, are lockers okay okay i know before you guys get to me lockers probably you might not need them if you are an experienced four by four and you've done a lot of trails and you've got them under your belt and you know how to pick your lines you probably don't need them but for most four by fours you're gonna need lockers it's gonna give you that peace of mind and it's gonna get you over some of these giant boulders so you're going to need a four by four rig you're going to need the ground clearance and you're going to need those lockers. I understand. I'm going to get all these comments. I did it without lockers. I'm just saying it for those people that are maybe trying it for the first time or new to off-roading. So just keep that in mind. All right. Turn driver a little. There you go. A little more driver. There you go. Keep going. Go straight down. Oh, back passenger? No, no passenger. Passenger? More passenger? I just coming. I just coming. There you go. Keep it, keep it. 
Okay, Kim, there you go. Not so much. There you go. Yeah. Turn back to driver. There you go. You're good. You're good. Keep going. This is where you're going. Slow, slow, slow. <laughs> Hard driver, hard driver. <laughs> Try to take me out. <laughs> hard driver, driver. Okay guys, we made it to the gatekeeper. It looks pretty gnarly. Let's do this. Okay, perfect. Alright, slow. If you want your Instagram pic, there it is. Who's got the camera? Get me a default. Keep going. Alright, turn back driver. There you go. Go. Alright, slow. Got it. Oh, passenger. There you go. Go ahead. some tips for jumble you're gonna want to hit it early it gets really crowded it probably better yet to hit it during the week but definitely on the weekends plan your day to get here super early um i think when we were out here we got stuck behind a group of 15 and another group of eight and at least another group of four to five before us and we were a group of what eight i think mm -hmm. So, hit it early.
guys, I freaking blew it. I flew the drone into a tree and it's stuck. <sighs> it's way up there somewhere. There you go. There we go. Yeah. 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 Shake it. Oh. Shake it. Shake it's it. A little hard. Come on, Come on. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. Oh. Can we let that down and have the rope go over and two people grab it and like snap the branch? That branch is big. Yeah. Oh. Everybody's arms like dead now. There it is. Come on, baby. Oh, you're gonna get stuck in the next one. Watch it. Oh. Oh. Yay! <laughs> you guys rock. I think it's stuck in a fly. Oh, maybe not. Oh yeah, <laughs> we're good. Ah, I think we're okay. The rotors are a little, I'd rather get some new rotors, but I think so, I think we're okay. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> gotta take a picture of this. Uh, oh my God, look what they had to do. <laughs> duct tape on some branches. I'm sure everyone. Tape, yeah. Come on, somebody's Thank you everybody. <laughs> Thank you guys. Are they done over here? Alder, you rock. Thank you, Nate. We're getting it down. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> it only took them all about 45 minutes to get it down. <laughs> We've hit it. Uh, we're about at the end. There is a part where there is a tree in the center of the road and there are two lines to pick. One is an easy line and one is a very tippy line that can take you into the tree. Let me show you the tree and then I'll show you the two lines. So on this tree, we got some rubbing. Whew. Would not want to go up against that bad boy. Okay, so coming at it. Nate is going to yell at me and tell me to get out of the way in just a minute. But, um, okay. So this is your lines. This way is difficult. Over here is going to be your easy line. This is your tippy. Just remember. That's a deep... Just gotta get over that rock. It'll be alright. Come down. on. You're coming down on this one. You're passing the tire. Am I gonna come down all pretty much together? Uh, your first one's gonna come down. Your, your, your driver's gonna come down before. Can I back up and get more? I don't, you can, I don't think but so. if you back up, you're going to get closer to that tree. Right. I think what happens is those... Actually, you back, back, up, back up a little back bit, back you got to pass it. You're on the tree. Yeah. yeah. You got to go driver a little bit. I think what happens is the rocks come out farther than the roof does. And yeah, that's why I slam you. A little bit more driver. Driver. Or, 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 Yeah, all the driver right there. Uh, right there. Right there. All right, so that rock my front went over, is the back going over that? No, if your I back's run not down gonna... here and it goes up, I'm in trouble. Yeah, because your back, your back's not going to go up that because you're going to come okay. this way. You got to move more driver. No, more, a little bit more driver. You're on the side. Right there. Come. Your passenger tire is going to go down. Right. Passenger's going to go gonna down. It's going to start sliding, yeah. yeah. I think you're going to have to ride at an angle this way. Yeah. Yeah, start going driver. Yeah, hard driver. Not, not, you, it's going to drop right now. You're on the roof. Where's the other one? 
Yeah. What other one? The other one, you're not dropping yet. Yeah. You got like a foot left and you're dropping here. Right, yeah, you're dropping. Hold on, hold on, you're dipped. No, you're good, you're still good. You're good. Remember, name is 30. <laughs> Little dip. Try to straighten out. You cleared it. Drop. You're dropping. Yeah, just, just straighten out. Yeah, you're good. Everything is clear. Don't break another bumper. Your front tire is going to climb and your back tire is going to start dropping pretty soon. You're on, you're on the roof now. Okay, so your back tire is going to drop all of, out of nowhere. And you're, yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to jerk you this way right now. You're, you're dropping right now. You're on your way down. Your back tire, your other tire is still on the rock. Yeah. All right, you're good. Yeah. Now, now you're, now you're oh. you There goes the traction. That, that's lighter. Nice and slow. Yeah, I think nice and slow right here. Rock. Yeah. You're running the rock down. You're good. You cleared it. <laughs> you're going, your, your back tire's going up a big rock. Yeah, All right, Nate. How'd yeah. that feel? It's not as bad as it looks. I thought it was going to be a little bit worse than what it was. Uh, it didn't get tippy at all. It was actually pretty easy to come down. Uh, you're Driver. Hey, driver. All the way. You got to stay hard, driver. Right there. Because you're going to hit this tree. Keep driver. Driver. Yeah. driver. Hang there on. you go. Keep it hard, driver. There you go. That's, a That's it right there. Just yeah, ride it slow. Yeah, straight, straighten it out and ride it slow. Right. Oh, well, well, stay driver, actually. Yeah, stay driver a little bit. Right there. It's nice and slow. You're going to need to do some trimming. Oh, you know what? That's a shiny little. It's the. It's, it's on his it's it's sway bar link. It's on sway bar. That's what it's really. I think that's shiny. That's what it is. Yeah. Give it a ride. Give it a ride. These wider wheels. I did, well, your tire's not even on the ground.
All right, guys, we are headed down the mountain right now. John Bull was freaking amazing. It was definitely a difficult trail. So we're gonna say you're gonna need a four x four vehicle. You're gonna need some ground clearance. And for those newbies or not really comfortable with four x four, and you're gonna need a locker on this one just for peace of mind. I know the seasoned guys can do this without a locker, but we're just gonna throw it out there. Yeah, we did have two members of our group that didn't have lockers. We have Grandpa Steve's Gladiator, mm -hmm. and he doesn't have any lockers, just a rear limited slip differential. And then we had Junior's XJ, and he just has a rear locker only. And they were both able to get through the trail today. So it can be done. It just makes life a little easier with the locker. Yeah. And one of our guys had a call out last minute from the trail. Thumper, we miss you. We're sorry you're not feeling well and you weren't able to make it. But buddy, we'll hit it again with you. We promise. And absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. This was an amazing trail. I'm not gonna live this trail down. I flew that drone into the tree. I am so freaking embarrassed, but thank you, thank you, thank you to Alder Off-Road for helping me get my drone unstuck from a tree. Thank you, babe, for trying to help me get it down. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> think about an hour later, we finally got it out of the tree. <laughs> oh. But anyways, thank you, Alder Off-Road, for throwing this event together. Go check them out on Instagram and on YouTube. You know what? We're tired. We're dirty. We're hungry. We're out, guys. All right. Bye. Bye. See you next time.